So Lisa Page's testimony in front of Congress says that there was no collusion before Mueller was appointed, thereby setting up the snake eating its own tail. I'm Jason Lord Surratt. It's me in Brooklyn. Coming to speak to you about whatever I think about, mainly focused around an idea or a concept. In this particular video, it's Lisa Page and Peter Strzok. Collusion with Russia, all that, and the implications of the corruption that is represented by them. So where do we begin? We begin with the Pied Piper strategy. Let's, we are the DNC at this point, let us um, raise up all of the, excuse me, let us raise up Donald Trump. Destroy all the other GOP candidates uh, through our, our propaganda and our promotions and our rhetoric and bring up Donald Trump so that Hillary Clinton, the de facto smoking in the back room choice of the super delegates and the party elites and the such, will have a mockery uh, to run against. That mockery, as they decided, would be our president Donald Trump. Move it forward. Uh, the campaign was about hate and, and isms and um, sexism and all that stuff. And it was really just a disgusting campaign in which the DNC and Hillary Clinton didn't really choose to speak about anything. In just terms of just, and we all know this kind of just forced us and many of their I'm with her -er -ers, uh, to just spit vitriol and hatred and to lump anyone else who didn't say they were with her into the box of a Trumpite, ism, racist, Nazi, sexist, patriarchy, xenophobic, homophobic, you know, gosh, everything, everything. It's crazy. It was everything. Okay, anyway, they just threw everything. So it's so insane. Now, sidebar, the great things, the Me Too, uh, Black Lives Matter, Colin Kaepernick, all the protests that have risen, the teacher strikes, um, all the wonderful things that have arisen, that the, the youth getting really activated uh, in terms of being involved in politics and forming their own opinions and engaging in uh, political discourse um, at, at any stages that they can, be it voting or just kind of yelling in the streets, is very proper and I'm very happy about that. Um, counterpoint, um, there's no, no counterpoint. I'm very happy that there has been a lot of positive action because I was never a Trump supporter, um, but then again, I was never a Obama supporter. I am a supporter of good policies, and uh, that's it, good, good policies, because um, who you are is not exactly how you are. Um, I'm not going to go into that later, but if you have any questions about that particular sentence, feel free to comment all of my seven subscribers, and I'm so proud of my seven subscribers. I didn't really start this for subscribers. I kind of started it just because I was done on typing BS on Facebook. Um, well, I'm not done, but uh, I was kind of just wanted to be a little bit more myself. So here are my eyes. That's me with glasses. We all know the story why I wear the glasses. I'm trying to be honest. So now we have, uh, skip forward, now we have President. He is now President-elect. He's won in a hilarious meltdown of the uh, media system, hilarious meltdown of the media system in which every single pundit it was like, he can't win, he can't win. <laughs> every single person. And, and that's why the media was so corrupt. It's like they couldn't even suggest that there was something, uh, a possibility. Anyway, it was so hilarious. And then when he won, it was like just a meltdown. It was great. I personally watched TYT meltdowns, Anna Kasparian calling half the women in America fucking stupid. <laughs> Like, you're the news. <laughs> you're the news. Anyway, so that all happened. Kind of just like let all the people who were woke see what was going on with uh, the political system and the way it was being run. So now, wait, day after, right before, right before Donald Trump took office, Obama put sanctions on Russia. Then Russia, he was colluding with Russia, so if Donald Trump did anything... Lifted the sanctions, he's colluding with Russia. If he kept the sanctions, 
then he's just trying to pretend like he's a Russian agent. So then the Russia collusion story began. And everyone started popping that out. Everyone started saying that that was going on. And it was kind of madness. It was kind of madness in the sense that... <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. In the sense that people were spinning this story so much on, on social media, at least, my, at least my social media. They were spinning it like saying that he was involved in all these things and there's all this proof. And, and people like me were like, well, no, there doesn't seem to be any real proof on what is happening because, because anything, everything you point to is, is, is fading. It fades. And there was the what about is the uranium one deal. What about the, the money that Bill Clinton took? Well, what about like I don't understand if if it's okay for the goose and is not the gander privy to the same treatment? And if it is, if and if so, and why is one treasonous and one is just business as usual? Um, I really believe that the whole Russian investigation is a complete farce fallacy created uh, by the DNC in order to absolve them of failing. Um, so now we got Lisa Page. Oh, oh no, we lost the apple. Now we got Lisa Page. Let's get that apple. We got Peter Strzok doing that a masterful work, uh, masterful work in front of the city, um, and, and in front of the Congress, like just really just laying his whole entire personality down to the people to show him, to show the world, to show everybody just how, just how, Entitled, elitist, believing that his intellect and his vision of the future of the world is superior than everyone else's, and how that he used that playing the game system to get to where he could, so that he could play a type of democratic god. He was in charge of the Hillary campaign, Hillary campaign, which what happened? Not Hillary campaign, Hillary investigation which he was running, which kind of went nowhere. Let's not remember, it was not um, her fault that she built a private server in a bathroom in a basement and away from, away from anyone who could watch her do whatever she was gonna effing do. Um, and yeah, we all know, we all know, come on. You all know, we all know. Haiti, yes, and God, yeah, no, no, it's okay. It's a good, private prison, yes, we all know. Hillary, great, yeah. But we're talking about this. The, the railroading. <laughs> so let's get to it, because my baby's getting cray-cray. Lisa Page says that prior to the mother... Oh, sorry. Peter Strzok was in charge of the Hillary Conservation uh, uh, investigation, and that went nowhere, because, wow, there, what's there, there? There ain't nothing there, there. What is, what is, is even mean? What is, is even mean, if you really think about it? I don't know. You don't know? I mean, what, what is taking a billion dollars from somebody, actually? That, that don't really affect me. If someone gives me a billion dollars, I don't, I don't even really think about it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So now with Lisa Page coming out and saying that uh, there was no collusion prior to the in bringing Mueller on, then that means that everything prior to it, all the investigation, all the information they were using was fabricated and based on um, false information. Um, uh, not even false information, but information that was served knowingly and known as false in order to uh, allow our government or the deep state, Obama's DOJ, to dig into someone's life to find any indication of illegality in order to throw them under the bus. And uh, thank you for en enduring my rambling, but I have a one more thought, which is the reason why the DNC, the Obama DOJ, Hillary Clinton's folks, Podesta, the reason why they believed if they got this FISA warrant and were able to go deep into this property owner, let's just say, I don't know his money, but property owner, name brand seller, reality show star, if he's successful, then he must be dirty because we're dirty. Because we are obviously dirty, right? Right? And when we've taken money, you've done shady deals, right? Well then, look at this guy. He obviously has two. So all we need to do is get the information and we're going to be good. Then we can justify the DNC, put down the Republicans as making a bad choice, put down the American people. But that didn't work. That hasn't happened. 
the exact opposite has happened. They've shown themselves to be duplicitous. So, I, uh, last thought, we used to post on Facebook all the time defending, not Donald Trump, but defending um, the, the right for people to speak freely and the right for people not to invert racism uh, and be like, white people be like versus black people be like. Um, and speaking about when people are like, treason, I'm like, that is crazy, that's propaganda, and you're like, you're following into it. Please think for yourselves. I don't care who you vote for or who you voted for, but as long as you come to your conclusions with thought um, and awareness of the way games are played and manipulations happen, then you're making the best choice. I don't need to agree with you, but you can't call me an ism just because you don't agree with me. This has been Jason Lord Surratt. Hey, thanks for listening, guys. Um, I think this is kind of going to be the setup because I got a lot of space here. So again, I'm Jason Lord Surratt. Peace be the journey. Gonna throw some hand signals for the for all those guys who understand what they're talking about or just make stuff up like me. One more thing. Sometimes they just say things. Read between the lines. Like if I say Hillary Clinton is the best person in the world. <laughs> when I laugh, that means I'm kind of like fucking bullshit. Be well. <laughs>